Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick little uh, tutorial on how I like to apply the 3D mascara. Um, everyone has their own little ways, I've been playing around with it a little bit and this is how I figured out it works for me. Um, on this side here, I already have um, some drugstore mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous. It used to be uh, my favorite mascara before I tried 3D, so we'll see the difference. Uh, so here we got two tubes gel fibers right there. Um, I like to have them both open and ready to go. And then we start out with our first coat of gel and this is going to be interesting. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay. So, got my uh, touch mirror here. So, bear with me. So, first coat of gel. I like to try to get a really good coat on there and um well that just you want to make sure the gel is still wet before you apply or when you go to apply the fibers because then the gel is really going to stick to the fibers so we've got the gel on there now I get my fibers. I like to kind of uh, like wipe them off. You don't want a bunch of extra little hangers on there. Um, don't want that falling out. You can kind of squint your eye a little bit and that helps keep the fibers away from your eyes. I like to just kind of focus on the tips and the top parts. If you want it to get really uh, like thick volume you are going to want to get it further down. Just be careful. Nobody wants to get the fibers in their eye. If you do, it doesn't hurt though. All right. So typically want to wait like 30 seconds or so. So I like to do uh, like gel and then fibers on one eye and then gel and fibers on the other eye because then you kind of, uh, you want to let the first eye, uh, the gel to dry and the fibers to adhere to the gel and that way you're not just wiping the fibers off when you go and apply the second coat of gel. <laughs> Jacob's playing back there so we got to make this quick and see how long he can uh, entertain himself. All right so we got the gel and the fibers on this one eye as you can see I'm a messy mascara applier. Um, I already have mascara on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put the second coat of gel on. Super easy. It's just like regular old mascara. Now you want to make sure on the second coat of gel that you get a really good coat of it because you want to lock in all those fibers. If you don't lock in the fibers then you're going to start getting some on your See, I'm not even in the camera, I'm sorry. On your cheeks throughout the day. So, if you get them on your cheeks, you just need to apply a little more gel afterwards. And then I kind of like to go down on the tops and then push them back up. Um, a question I get a lot from a lot of people is, do I curl my lashes? I do curl my lashes, but I really think that that's just your own personal preference of it. So I could sit here and fuss with my mascara all day long. Okay, we're gonna leave that at that. Okay. Um, can you guys see the difference? It's amazing. This eye has the 3D mascara on it. See? It's nice and thick and voluminous, voluminous um, lots of length. This eye, um, it's thick in the bottom, but the length at the top is just not quite there. Um, you see that there? I can try to, let's see, uh oh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Look down for you, see if that's working at all. Do um, you see the thickness differences? Look up. It's crazy. Do you see the difference there? It's absolutely crazy. Um, I am the most messy mascara applier 
in the world, so I've got stuff everywhere. But just like, look at that. There's just kind of some, looks all this and that, and there's that. So now, this is just one coat of the mascara. If you really want to get an extra little, like, uh, va va voom on the length, you can go in and do a second coat. So, I'll show you what I do when I do a second coat. I just focus on the tips. So, I just go in, and you got my gel right here, and just kind of gel the tips there. Okay, now, I don't have my fibers ready. Get fibers, make sure you don't get any on the tips there. Okay, now just focus on the tips. Go back through. And this is a nice, like, you're going out, you just want some really big, bold lashes, uh, pictures. We all love to have amazing looking lashes in our family pictures. And um, so this is when you can kind of get like little clumpers, like right there. And I just kind of, uh, anything that looks like you've got a lot on there. Wet a Q-tip. Or use a brush and just kind of, uh, see it just kind of brushes right off. Um. Okay, we're letting the fibers dry. Hi, buddy. Okay, fibers are drying. Uh, now I'm gonna put on the second coat of gel. Hopefully before baby starts screaming. And then, yeah, once again, like squint your eyes just to apply it on the tips there. I like to do tops and bottoms, fronts and backs, whatever you want to say of your lashes. Um, Oh, we got a baby on the camera. Okay, there is a second coat of the gel and fibers. Like, do you see that? That is just crazy, crazy, crazy volume. Um, it's amazing. It's just pretty, and that was super easy. Didn't it look easy? It's really easy to do. Um, yeah, I just, I can't get over it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, how many more questions? Post it in the comments below. I will answer your questions. And um, thanks for watching. All right, see you guys later. Bye.